and debris. It washed away the memories that made this friendship like no other friendship. And in its place it will have a wake of damage, a wake of destruction. I'm talking about the friendship of God. Thanks be to God this morning for the redesigned the temple. Amen. The new and improved version, if you will. He said, unlike the temple of old, this temple will do what the other temple could not do. This temple will breathe, and this temple will walk. This temple will speak. This temple will go to the places where the lost live. They won't have to come to me because I've got a revival in a temple that will go to where they are. It will go into the highways. It will go into the byways. It will go into the drug addict's home and the alcoholic's home. This temple, unlike the other temple, will do what the other one couldn't do. It will cross theological boundaries. It will get past bigotry, idolatry, inequality, racism. No, this temple will persevere. It will go into nations telling them the same message. Oh, you See, they become sensitive to the merciful dealings of God. 
hear me, the merciful dealings with God and the ground that He prepared for the seed or the Word of God to go forth. That is why we come in here, church, hear me, when pastor asks you to pray. Because if you think you've arrived, you need to go find another church because I haven't arrived yet. We've got to understand this morning that we must continually seek God's face and understand that constantly. Pastor's going to come in and say, hey, I see some weeds growing in the northwest corner of your field. I was walking down your field last week and I noticed there were some hogs and, and they was rooting up your heart. Greater things shall you be a part of. He said, greater things shall 
you do. 